Hello, everybody. If you asked me to describe the actor Michael Clark Duncan's life path in one phrase, it would be through difficulties to the stars, no matter what, and in spite of everything. It was hard not to notice this big hearted man, but his life has not been easy, that's for sure. In 1957, in a Chicago maternity hospital, a black boy, Michael Clark Duncan, was born. He and his sister Judy were raised by a single mother, so their life was very difficult. Money was often lacking, not just for new clothes or toys, but even for food. His mother was very strict about her own children, often forbidding them to express themselves. For example, at the age of 10, Michael was very interested in American football but he was forbidden to play the game. Duncan's mother was very much afraid that her son would suffer some serious injury and did not allow him to develop himself in the sport. When it came time for Michael to go to university, his main dream was to get out of poverty into the world. Having finally started his education, he was soon forced to drop out due to his mother's illness. The fact was that he had to work hard to be able to feed his family. Unfortunately, Combining work and study was simply not possible. Michael had to dig trenches to earn at least a penny. But, even working so hard, the guy did not give up his most cherished dream, to become a movie star. And, he often unashamedly told his friends and acquaintances, who now and then joked about it. Moreover, these well-wishers even began to call Michael a nickname, Hollywood. As the actor himself later recounted, he was often told, Hey man, Bruce Willis wants to talk to you about the role in the new movie. What can be added here if they all knew then how prophetic their jokes would prove to be? The next job Duncan got was as a security guard in Chicago's nightclubs. He was big enough, so he was eagerly offered a position as a bouncer. One day, Michael was also lucky enough to attract the attention of a theater producer who offered him a job as his bodyguard. Already in the 1990s, Duncan moved to Los Angeles. Although he was to earn his biceps working as a bodyguard again, Michael gets to know and take under his protection, so to speak, world stars, among them Will Smith, Jamie Foxx, and Martin Lawrence. So, gradually, he got into the movies thanks to the connections of these people. However, he could not get rid of the role of the bodyguard, even in his field. Like many aspiring actors, he starred in some commercials, as well as playing the guy who protects his boss at the cost of his life in soap operas. Those were the films Players Club and Boulevard. Perhaps Duncan's first real success was in a film called Armageddon, which was released in 1998. Now let's remember the actor's colleagues who joked about him at the expense of Bruce Willis. Why? Well, just on the set of Armageddon, Duncan met with the tough guy and even made friends with him. Willis, a little later, contributed to a friend to get a role in the movie The Green Mile, which brought Michael world fame. Thanks to the well-played role of John Kofi, he was even nominated for an Oscar and a Golden Globe as Best Supporting Actor. In a word, the story of a good-natured strongman with supernatural powers who was undeservedly sentenced to the electric chair was a real success for Duncan. And the actor himself was very happy about it because for the first time, he could reveal himself fully instead of playing some muzzles. As Michael said in one of his interviews, you ask me, what was the hardest thing you had to do on the set? Well, that's probably the scene where there were two dead girls on the set. I had to cry a lot, I had to break down, I had to be hysterical. Apparently, this is what wore me out most of all. After the release of The Green Mile, the cinematic friendship with Bruce Willis continued. The actors even starred together in three new works, Breakfast for Champions, Nine Yards, and Sin City. This was followed by roles in films such as Planet of the Apes, The Scorpion King, Daredevil, the island, and the lost Mimsy of the universe. In addition, Duncan has voiced animated films called Brother Bear and Kung Fu Panda, as well as a couple of computer games. In short, 
By the summer of 2012, the actor has gathered a fairly solid filmography, which Duncan was very proud of. Looking at the big Duncan, one would assume that he was a big eater, but in fact, the actor was a vegetarian and considered it the best choice in his life. He wrote about it more than once on his Twitter page. Not only that, he even took part in the filming of an animal rights video. The actor urged people to give up meat, and his appeal looked very touching. Duncan also wanted to use his example to explain to people how much better you can feel if you stop eating meat dishes. I'm much healthier now than when I ate meat, he assured. As for his hobbies, Michael chose the Japanese martial art of jujitsu, which has a soft, malleable movement technique. And you know, apparently it was not a coincidence. Despite the fact that Duncan had to demonstrate his power to everyone in his life, he was a very kind and compliant man who always tried not to get into conflicts and prairies with anyone. This is how Big Michael is remembered by everyone around him. As fate would have it, in the midsummer of 2012, Duncan had a heart attack and suffered a cardiac arrest. Luckily, his girlfriend named Omarosa felt something was wrong and came to her lover's house. The actor was already unconscious, but the girl was there in time. She called an ambulance, and while waiting for it, she tried to revive Michael. In fact, we can say that it was thanks to Omarosa that the medics took the actor to the hospital already conscious. And although Duncan managed to save his life at this point, it turned out not to be for long at all. On September 3rd of the same year, the man passed away. According to Omarosa, her lover died in hospital in Los Angeles from the consequences of his heart attack. Many of his colleagues were shocked by the sad news. For example, actor Tom Hanks said in an interview, We're all very upset with such a great loss. Duncan had a huge, speakable sadness. Losing Duncan devastated me because he was one of the finest people I had ever worked with on a film set. I can safely say that Big Michael was a worthy example of decency, honesty, and kindness, the director added in an interview. So, friends, Michael Clark Duncan will forever stir the hearts of those who love him and the audience.